It is that time. <laughs> Let's try this again. It's that time of year again where either a lot of people like me, but most of the people will hate and despise me. I'm completely fine with both. Today's video is how to properly predict the ban list. On the official ban list website, it says the ban list will be no sooner than April 2nd. April 2nd, what does that mean? The day after April 1st. So April 2nd is probably the next day after April Fools. So since it's April Fools on April 1st, Konami's probably gonna make it but we all know how Konami plays with our feelings. The ban list is probably not gonna be until like April 15th or something like that. But anyways, as you guys all know, it is ban list season and there's a lot of videos on YouTube right now where people just make ban list predictions. We got Farfa doing ban list meme reviews and then we got Simo, he does the ban list roulette, but he's from Vegas. Roulette is a huge thing in Vegas. Gambling is a huge thing. But we're not gonna be gambling on this channel, bro. It's all about facts. It's what's in here. Okay, it is what's in here in my big ass forehead. Today's video is gonna be how to properly predict the 2019 April ban list. And as a disclaimer, everything that I do say or will say will become true. Because <laughs> Konami told me. Before I get started with this ban list, I just wanna say that the game is perfectly fine where it is, but there's obviously little issues that definitely needs to be addressed for this ban list. So without further ado, let's get started. First, let's tackle off the ban section. What cards are gonna be banned for the April 2019 ban list? The first card I'd like to talk about is Artifact Scythe. For those of you who do not know what Artifact Scythe does, is that when it's card is special summon, basically your opponent cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck that turn. We've seen trends where cards are used to actually lock your opponent from playing Yu-Gi-Oh. We've seen cards like Rongo, we've seen cards like Gumblar, we've seen cards like Firewall Dragon. These cards are degenerate cards that makes your opponent not be able to play Yu-Gi-Oh or cards that lead up to FTKs. And I believe that Artifact Scythe is definitely a card that needs to be tackled on this ban list. A card that says lock your opponent from the extra deck, hell no. A card that just says lock your opponent down from using an extra deck, which is an essential game mechanic in Yu-Gi-Oh, shouldn't be able to see play. And the next card that I'm gonna talk about is Rank Up Magic Launch, okay? This is the quick play spell Rank Up Magic the Phantom Knight launch. I do not believe that cards like Kali Yuga and also Azathoth should be banned. I think that you need to ban the facilitator of the combo, which is the rank of magic launch. It's either gonna hit Azathoth for Phantom Knight or launch, right? But Azathoth, like, you obviously need to, you know, put your resources into making Azathoth, and then you have to rely on chance to actually hitting your dangers to be able to make Skull Dread and things like that, right? But the most annoying part is not playing Azathoth on your turn, but play being able to summon Azathoth on your opponent's turn using the rank of magic. So let me know what your thoughts and opinions are on that. And a huge shout out goes my boy Yasin for actually helping me choose this card over as a thought. Or I think Rusty Bardiche is definitely another consideration that you should put on this ban list. I think that Rusty just generates you too much advantage. Let me know what your thoughts are. It's either you ban as a thought, ban the Rusty, or ban the Ranked Up Magic. The next card I can talk about is Phantom Sky Blaster. <laughs> I don't know why Konami didn't hit this card on the last ban list, but this card is definitely going to get banned. We've seen patterns already with token generator cards. Scapegoat is not at one, okay? Grinder Golem, banned, okay. What else is banned that generates tokens? Um, what else is banned? I, I, I don't know. Tomahawk, Sky Blaster is the exact same thing. That card is gonna get banned. A Danger in Sky Blaster equals Skodred. Draw four, huh, GG no re. Any card that's able to generate you multiple tokens for absolutely free, depending on the number of monsters you have on the side of the field, is just absolutely insane. And if you guys do not agree that Sky Blaster needs to get banned, you're probably a Thunder Dragon player. <laughs> and the last card that I like to talk about is Summon Sorcerers. I think that this card still needs to be in check and the amount of combo plays that this card is able to start and the combos that this card helps facilitate is just absolutely incredible. Like, you, like this card just does too much for basically uh, any single deck. So let me know what your thoughts are about Summon Sorcerers. Summon Sork is banned. I believe Summon Sork is banned in the OCG, right? And usually things in the OCG that gets banned usually happens here in the TCG. This card has been in this game for long enough. Uh, European players finally got to experience Summon Sorcerers. So now I believe that it's time to actually put this card in check. Yo, what the fudge? Yo, Canada's messed up. Oh, it's, it's getting awfully cold. What is this? It's fire. It will keep you warm.
Who the f is that guy? Who the hell is that guy? Anyways, make sure you guys visit tx1.com slash shop to get your fire play mat today. That'll be absolutely amazing. Hopefully you guys like my skit, man. Like, I really had fun with that one. That was like, yo, yo, that was pretty good, eh? That was like, that was good. Make sure you guys support the channel and visit tx1.com slash shop. Anyways, let's get back to the video. Let's go off to the limited section. For the limited section, first and foremost, let's talk about Skull Dread. I don't know why Skull Dread is still at three. This card definitely needs to go to one. Not a lot of people play three Skull Dreads in their deck. They obviously play at least two, especially Thunder Dragon based decks. The fact that you're able to just draw four and just mulligan your entire hand is just insane. At the same time with the guard dragons, Skull Dread actually opens up the zones for the guard dragons, right? And I don't believe that this card deserves to be at three at all. Problem with guard dragons is not that they can make Skull Dread, but the fact they can make multiple Skull Dreads in one turn. So they're essentially seeing eight cards in their hand and then just basically get to pick how they want to play their hand, right? So I don't think Skull Dread can stay at three for any longer. It needs to be at one. And the fact that it's not once per turn, like as long as you can make multiple Skull Dread, you can just activate its effect to draw and you just constantly activate its effect to special summon. So if you guys don't agree with me on Skull Dread, I don't know what the heck you're thinking. You're probably a Thunder Dragon player. This deck has been running around for about a year now and it's probably the longest run that this deck has ever had without any major significant hits on the ban list other than Hornet Drones to one. Three cards that I have for Sky Strikers. Engage, Widow Anchor, and also multi Row. Pick your poison. Two of these cards needs to go. Two of these cards needs to go. Two of them, okay? So it's either engage and multi roll to one, and then we keep Widow Anchor at three. Engage, engage is really good. Engage is a really good card, but it's only good as the card that it searches, right? And most of the time it searches Widow Anchor and also multi roll. And I believe that multi roll is, you know, honestly, thinking about it now, I think multi roll is definitely the right hit. I think, like, think about it now. Yeah, yeah, I think multi roll and anchor is definitely the right hit. Hit those two cards to one. Multi roll is a card that actually able to get you so much advantage back from your graveyard every single turn. And if you guys are a Sky Striker player, you guys would definitely know how broken multi roll is. It's able to replenish all your resources every single turn, depending on the amount of small cards you activate that turn, it's just absolutely incredible. So I think multi roll is definitely the card that needs to be in check, guys. I strongly believe that multi roll needs to go to one. Yeah, man, it's either one like one of these three gets hit. I I, I strongly believe. Uh, that is a problem. If you are a Sky Striker player, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. The next card I'd like to talk about is Dangers. I think that Dangers some, somewhere, somehow, needs to be in check. And I think the most proper cards to actually hit in Dangers is put Jackalope to one and also Nessie to one. Danger as an archetype is absolutely broken. I've talked to you guys about Dangers on the channel a million times now, so I don't want to go too much in depth on Dangers. But the fact that, you know, Nessie and Jackalope always guarantees you a summon or a search, I don't think that these two cards should no longer be at three, 100%. These two definitely needs to go to one for this man list. And I think it's the most proper and correct way to actually put dangers in check. And if you put, you know, uh, Nessie and Jackalope to one, people are obviously forced to play other dangers like more Bigfoots or more Mothmans in their deck, right? So I think that Jackalope and Nessie is definitely the correct hit for dangers. And last but not least, I think that Thunder Dragons need to get hit directly. And I think the most like the best way, the best way to hit the deck is putting Colossus to one. Uh, it it kind of hurts. Uh, yep, there's all the salt. I'm just, you know, just putting more salt on the Thunder Dragon players out there that are watching this video. I think that's the best way to fix Thunder Dragons. Put Colossus to one or like just ban the Guard Dragon stuff, hit the Dark Matter, hit the Arc Brave, whatever, right? But if you want to hit Thunder Dragons efficiently and the most correct way, I think Colossus is definitely the correct way to go. Uh, I think hitting Colossus is definitely the correct way to go. Like, it's a walking floodgate. If you don't hit Thunder Dragon somehow, the Thunder Dragons is still gonna be a thing. I think it's Gold Dread, Colossus, like whatever. You can hit multiple things in a deck, but that's just my opinion. We guys go off the semi-limited list. I don't have a lot of cards for the semi-limited list. Um, I got Kagari. Okay, Kagari. That's it, Kagari to two. Simple as that, Kagari to two. I think Kagari to two uh, makes the most sense. 
uh, at this point. So that's pretty much it I have all for the, the semi-limited list. And that's for my balance predictions. These are the cards that I think should be in check that should be fixed for the April 2019 balance. I'm gonna be making a separate videos on cards that can come off the balance for the April 2019. So hopefully you guys stay tuned for that. There's a lot of cards that I talked about that can finally be released off the balance that is still on there, okay? So we can definitely talk about that. I love making videos like this face-to-face -face with you guys. It's very, very fun. I have I have such a great time making these videos and I hopefully you guys can enjoy it too. If I offended anybody, I'm sorry. I love you. I'll try to throw in a little bit of jokes. If you guys didn't find it funny or you guys didn't understand my sarcasm, I'm sorry. I love you. And yeah, man, thank you guys so much for watching this video again. Make sure you guys support the channel and visit tx1.com slash shop to get your playmats today. And this is how you can properly predict the Yu-Gi-Oh! ban list. This is your boy Sam from Team Sam Sam signing out. All right, guys. Peace. I feel like Usain in the cheetah print. Talk fresh game, I don't need a minute. R.I.P. the game, shh, I need a minute. Okay, let's proceed with it. I'm in the house, got the deed with it. These bozos always sneak this and they take a shots. I'm a keen with it. Like, no, no, this league business. Ooh.